Hey guys, so we are well into the summer of Chell event in NHL 22, and I thought I would put together a tier list for anyone still trying to make some master players throughout this event, who to go after, and all of that. I need to mention, all of these cards are going to be 99 overall. They're all going to be very, very good cards, so just like the last time I did a tier list for the awards event, there's really only going to be like an S, A, and B tier, because no matter what, even the worst card in this event is still one of the best in the game. So just keep that in mind when you're viewing the list. So let's get into it. We'll kick things off with the 99 Elvis Merzlikin, six foot three. He got gold post to post, as well as light work, which are both pretty incredible zone and superstar abilities for goaltenders. Here's the issue. There is a ton of top end goaltenders, and none of them are going to be worth the significant resource cost that he's going to make to make them at this stage of the game. I wish EA would take into account Count that goaltenders just don't have the same impact as a forward and defenseman does in game because unfortunately a one-timer at 99 overall is going to go in for almost every single goaltender and that's just how it is so I think this should be weighted a little bit differently that being said Merzlikens is still a, one of the better statted out goaltenders that you can use he's gonna go right into the B tier Next up, we'll go with one of the best hut cards usually every year. Obviously, a down season for Blake Wheeler, so we didn't get a lot of high-end cards throughout the year. But he is still among one of the best when he's at 99. Six foot five, 225 with 99. Everything has gold tape to tape, unstoppable force, third eye, elite edges, no contest, and born leader. If you haven't watched myself and Regs, the Gaming World Championship winner of 2022, we go over the tier list for the superstar abilities throughout the year. Uh, and honestly, unstoppable force and elite edges are among some of the best that you can get. And when you combine the fact that he's 99 everything and six foot five, 225, this is an S tier card. And honestly, if you put Thief on him, I mean, you could get him up to be 95 on the draw, and you might be able to use him at center as well. Just a really versatile card for you as well. But he is definitely among one of the best in the game still and for the rest of the year. So he goes into the S tier. Next up, we've got the 99 overall. Devon Taves, 6'1", 192, 99 across the board, obviously. With gold shutdown, elite edges, stick him up, wheels, as well as heat seeker and in reverse. Now, there is so many top end popular left hand defensemen that I think you have to take that into account um, when comparing left-handed defensemen, but let's just say in a vacuum, gold shutdown is still one of the better abilities in the game, but stick him up is one of the best as well as elite edges on defensemen. My man Regs in that same video, he talked his thought process through that this is always going to be activated, not just when you have the puck, so you can make really quick cuts in the defensive zone, and that's something I didn't really think about when thinking about elite edges. This is a very, very good card. There is just so many other other left-handed defenseman that I'd probably rather have. I wish there was a, t a tier between B and A, but I'm going to put him in the B tier solely because there are so many other left-handed defensemen, but still very, very good card and one of the best still. Like, like I said, you can't go wrong with any of these guys. Next up, we've got the 99 overall Moritz Sider, who is going to be a force in Hockey Ultimate Team and in the real NHL for the next 15 years, probably. 99 everything. He's got gold seeing eye, magnetic, 1T, truculence, quick pick, and elite edges. So elite edges, truculence, 1T, all phenomenal superstar abilities. I think seeing eye just really is not worth the cost. Um, again, I talk about that in the video, going over all the abilities. Still all around, one of the best better cards that you can get among right-handed defensemen. I'm going to put him in the A tier. I think just the lack of his zone ability is probably the only thing keeping him out of being an S tier card. You'd still rather have Colton Pareko, for example, so uh, or or the same with Tyler Myers, so just got to keep that in mind, but still an unbelievable card. Next up, we've got the 99 Darnell Nurse, 6'4", left-handed defenseman, gold 1T, bouncer, truculence, ice pack, in reverse, and shutdown. The gold 1T with silver truculence, a for a left-handed defenseman that's 6'4", 220 with 99 everything, makes him an S-tier card. He's just phenomenal. Those are phenomenal abilities for a left-handed defenseman in NHL 22. The 1T from the right-hand side, if you play him on his off wing, is one of the only ways to consistently score D to D one-timers in NHL 22. You combine that with Truculence, so he can bump any of the big guys like Lindros or Bustad. He can actually get them off the puck. And if you really want Pocheck, maybe you're not, maybe you're suffering a little bit from uh, the Pocheck ability, shut down uh, the Silver ability is still extremely strong. So Darnell Nurse, 
S tier card. Next up, we've got the 99 Jake Gensel 511 181 with gold. Make it snappy. This is a B tier card and probably the worst card that isn't Merzlikens. Uh, still going to be very, very good. Uh, but Big Tipper, just not a useful ability. Close Quarters is. It is a god tiered superstar ability that is very, very useful. Make it snappy is in that middle range. The other three, again, just not something that you necessarily need or are excited about. There's so many good left handed players uh, that just Jake Gensel's card is. Uh, just tough to compete with those other guys at 99. So he goes in the B tier. Future Montreal Canadian Pierre Luc Dubois. I'm just kidding. Pierre Luc Dubois, six foot three, two eighteen. He's got Unstoppable Force, Crease Crasher, Truculence, Tape the Tape, Magnetic, and Off the Rush. Uh, Truculence and Unstoppable Force are really the only abilities I'm excited about on this card. Uh, but still, you can't go wrong with a 99 overall, six foot three centerman. That's 99 everything. That's essentially. Um, Austin Matthews. So, very, very good card. There is nothing special about him, though. I'd put him in the A tier, but just, yeah, there's nothing super exciting about him. He's just a very, very, very good card. Another head scratcher, uh, in terms of the choice of master set players, but, uh, the 99 Roman Cervenka, 5'11", with gold wheels, elite edges, spinorama, born leader, tape to tape, and close quarters. So, he's got close quarters, elite edges, and wheels are all S tier synergies in my ability, or in ability they are S tier abilities, in my opinion. Uh, he is a little bit smaller at 5'11. Still going to be in an incredible card if you really need a left handed winger. This is a better card than Jake Gensel, given all of that. I don't want to put him in the A tier because I still think there are better cards that you go out and spend all of your resources on. Again, if there was an in between between B and A, I'd put him there. I'm going to. You know what? With all of his abilities, if he was your first line winger and you had all of those abilities on him, I'm going to say A. I'm going to say the A tier, you know? And then lastly, we've got the 99 jason ardent with gold quick draw with crease crasher big rig close quarters truculence and born leader six foot five 99 everything at center with gold quick draw in close quarters and truculence that's an s tier card one of the best centermen you're gonna have for the rest of the game uh just an absolute force to deal with and i'm glad this card didn't come out earlier because uh yeah it is uh absolutely devastating so the 99 jason ardent not much else to say here this is an s tier card so guys that is gonna do it for the tier list for the summer of Chell event. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. I go live every single day in the afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern time, twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12. Hope to see you guys there.